right there, Google. So here, let's do the price prediction on the stock that we own. We own 20 shares of Google right there, which means we put about $2,000 or whatever it was on Google. So we do own the stock that we are going to do the analysis. Same way that I own 50 shares of Amazon, same way that I own Apple, Conbase, 55 shares of Conbase. So let's go. And let's go deep. So when you look at Google, I told my guys to be careful of the 150, 160, because buy on blue, sell on purple. Buy on blue, sell on purple, which means ideally, right? You want to buy here. Up. Want to buy around here, buy on blue, sell on purple. On this edge of the calculator to this edge, you have 100% chance of making money, right? Well, now you're on purple, which means you have to be cautious. But look at the power trend. The power trend is showing you buy on pullback, buy on pullback. You have institutional net buyers here, which means to me that I want to continue accumulating Google on pullback. So what, what's the pullback? I do a structure like this, right? And then I go to the tools. And it's going to be probably this edge here and this institutional zone and edge here, which is the 130 to the 120. So let's call it 127. And so you see I have a, a white line with an alert ready. If I can see I kind of missed it a little bit last week, like that 132 on the trend line, see? It's not the best, best trend line. Maybe I can bring it down a little bit, but somewhere around that 130, I kind of miss adding. But 130, 127. So what do you do? You go here, put your alert, and you go here and boom, 127. You set them up on the edge. Now, if you don't want to set them up on the edge, there's another way to do that. Look what you do. You set the alert, but now you are going to use the probability power indicator rule of firm, this one, the premium. You are going to click here, and you are going to say, alert me when the lower bound is being breached. Okay? And that's it. You create an alert, so it's going to ring once per bar or once per minute. Boom. Now I have my alert. And that's it. So now I have two alerts on um, Google. I have a price alert for 127, but at the same time, I have another alert on the uh, probability rule of firm. Let me show you. If I can get rid of this, of the watch list. That is going to alert me when. Look, let me look, remove all the drawings and you, you will understand. It's going to alert me on the lower bound of each division, this division, this division, and then I put a price alert at the 127. So I have an alert on the boundary edges, which are very important reference point, plus the price alert. So I cannot miss the retracement and the re-entry because ideally I want 50 shares on, uh, on Google. So I think it could be pounded a little bit between now and the election, boom, I add, and I complete and I add my other 30 shares that I want on Google, okay? So again, you know the retracement area by, and you know the resistance are going to be right now, the 165 area on Google. Now, we could look at the monthly probability premium box rule of firm and see on the all time look back period and you see it doesn't change. It's still the 165 area for now. So. 165 at the top, right, to the 150, retracement 128 to the 120, okay?